Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we are going to be checking out the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Leonardo Mech from Heat Boys. Yes, that's right. This is TMNT-01. It is essentially a Ninja Turtles mech action figure. Man, this is such a cool idea. I am really stoked. I have to give a very special thanks to the folks over at Heat Boys who did provide this sample so we can get a good look at this guy out of the box a little early before it starts shipping. So let's dive right in and do that now. So we got that great image of a uh, close-up of our mech on the front of the box there. But as we rotate around this to the back side of the box, you can see just everything that comes with this. There is a lot of stuff crammed into this box some great turnarounds of the mech suit itself so let's go ahead and rip this box open so as you open up the box there's going to be multiple layers of the plastic tray because there are so many accessories with this particular figure there's also an included sheet of instructions, which is very handy for this because there's lots of little parts like little clips uh, for the interchangeable parts or for snapping on a lot of these accessories. And this little instruction manual has photos in it and it will definitely help you through the process if you're trying to figure out exactly what everything is. And as we're talking about this, I do want to go ahead and start by showing off a lot of these accessories because first of all, all of these little plastic clips are in here, and these are all various pieces, like I said, for attaching the weapons in various spots on the figure, because there's all these little ports all around the figure where you'll be able to attach different things. And before we really break down into this, let's go ahead and just show you the different accessories also, because as we're talking about the figure, I think it'll make more sense for me to kind of bring in the accessories and show them on here. Um, so we have two of these short swords, which are very nice. And it is worth noting that the blades are made of metal. So they actually do have some nice weight to them. Very cool little short blades here. We also of course have two of the longer katana blades as well and these do come with sheaths that can be attached to the shell on his back um, and the blades again on these are made of metal so they're very weighty uh, really really nice looking accessories and then we get some interesting accessories for a Ninja Turtle uh, because we have these two hand blasters here. Um, you can see very nice colors on there. There's some bright blues kind of on the scope on the front to match uh, Leo's gear. Uh, and then also some riding. You can even spin the barrel on these things which is pretty fun. So two little hand blasters there. And then we also have this larger mutagen blaster, big blaster rifle. Uh, again, there's some mu movable parts on here. And there's also these tiny little canisters of mutagen that can be removed. Look at that, really cool stuff. They actually have the biohazard symbol on them, um, but those can just attach on those little clips on the front of the blaster up here. Um, so some really fun accessories. And then in addition to those weapons, we also get four shurikens or ninja stars which are shiny uh silver really cool little weapons there a few other accessories that we will talk about as we're getting to the different things. Worth noting, when you first pull the, fi pull the figure outside of the packaging, there's some very minor assembly required. The head will need to be snapped onto the ball joint. Uh, that'll just take a little bit of pressure to kind of work it onto the ball joint the first time, but then it'll clip into place and it's nice and snug. And then the turtle shell will need to be attached to the back. Uh, you can see there's a slot there that easily fits right there onto the shell and again fits snugly on his back and once it's attached it does stay in place rather nicely so once we've got him all assembled and out of the package if i bring in the tape measure you can see that this stands nine inches tall and the figure is made of a combination of die cast metal and plastic so he is extremely heavy there is a lot of weight to him uh, but he also feels so incredibly well balanced like this is a solid really nice feeling toy the quality is really amazing on this thing 
Thought we should go ahead and do a scale comparison here, right? We got to stand them alongside some of the other Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figures that are available. There's so many of them out there today. So let's just do Playmates and NECA Toys and Super 7. Throwing all these guys in there just so you can see all of the different styles and see how they measure up with this 9-inch tall mech suit. So, of course, the whole idea with this is that it is essentially supposed to be a turtle mech, a giant mech that the Ninja Turtles are actually riding inside of, like Voltron style or Power Ranger style or Pacific Rim style, whatever sort of mech, Gundam, whatever kind of mech you want to talk about. That's basically what we've got going on here. In fact, this set does also come with these two little sprue kits. Um, there's one in black and one in green. And one of the things that is attached to these sprue kits are tiny little versions of Leonardo. The green ones uh, being my favorite versions, but it's in black as well. So you've got one tiny little Leonardo uh, with a little base and he's holding his katana blades. So that kind of shows you the actual scale of what the turtles look like standing next to the mech here. And then there's a tiny little one that is sitting down. Now, this is great. And I think this is a great place to start with this, honestly. Uh, if we turn around to the back of the mech here with this turtle shell, you can see it says TMNT-01 as his designation. There's some really nice colors on here, some little metallic blues, like their little lights, some gold. Um, but the shell here is designed so that it does open up. Look at this. So you can actually fold open the back of the shell just like this, the two sides fold open here like so, and then inside of the shell, you'll see this little barrel here. There's also some really nice kind of gunmetal silver all around it. You can see little gears and everything, but this little barrel right here spins around, revealing a seat, and this is where you can sit that tiny little seated Leonardo figure. Look at that. So he just sits in his little chair, in the back here, as if he's ready to pilot his giant mech suit. You can just spin that back around and then close up the back. This is such a cool little uh, treat on here. Like, I just, I don't know. I was so blown away by how cool that was that you actually have a tiny little driver seated on there. One of my absolute favorite things about this. All right, so now let's talk about like the articulation, all that stuff with this guy. So like I said, mixture of die cast metal parts and plastic parts on here, uh, but this thing is highly poseable. Now, because he's so heavy, one of the good things is that all the joints on here are also real tight. So you can see tight, but fluid, really good fluid movement. And one of the things that I love is when you do things like bend the knees, look at the way the plates on the thighs kind of move forwards. Almost got like a piston type look to it, right? Very mechanical in design. The same thing happens with the knee. Like I love this big bulky knee that's blue like the knee pad, right? On the turtle. But look at this. When I bend the knee, look at how it kind of like separates and the different parts fold and move down. It is amazing engineering on this thing. I think it is so, so well done. So here we go. The ankles can move up and down. You can actually individually articulate the toes on there as well. Uh, it's got a little bit of side to side movement. They don't really rock. I do feel like that's one area where I kind of wish that they would rock a little bit better. You can see it does. Oh, it does slightly move, but it's really tight. And it also does get kind of hindered a little bit, but all in all, it's pretty good. And it's a nice sturdy, uh, foot too. It like really gets flat to the ground, which is something that I appreciate. Uh, you saw that knee there bending. It is double jointed and that's what moves those kind of plates on the leg there. And then you got joints at the thighs that allow the legs to go way out to the side. So you can actually get some like big kicks here if you want to going forwards and backwards as well. Really great range of motion. You can see the kind of metal joints in here. Um, everything is so fluid. Like I said, it functions really, really well. The torso up there kind of turns. You can see at the waist a little bit there. Uh, also moves forwards and backwards. So we've got like a little uh, ab crunch kind of hinge joint in here, which is really nice. That head is ball jointed that I showed you, but also the neck itself is articulated. So that, look at that, the neck can come all the way upwards so you can make them look up. Maybe if you wanna do like some flight type poses, you can bend way down. It kind of comes out a little bit, turning the head all the way around. 
good range of motion here. The bandana piece is kind of like little fins that are sticking off the back, so those themselves do not move, but good range of motion in the head. You can see you can move these little uh, shoulder uh, pauldrons here. They do pop off from time to time, but this gives you an opportunity to kind of see the inside of it there. You can see it just attaches to this little metal peg up here on the top, but it also really shows you the shoulder articulation too. So look at that. The arms can go outwards. They do move forwards and backwards, and you can see the way this works. It like pops out of socket, and then you've got a wider range of motion there, which is really cool, and then it's easy. You can just kind of put it right back in place like so. And then you can also move forwards and backwards. You've got double jointed at the uh, elbow there. So really good range of motion. And you can swivel the wrists and also individually articulate the three fingers on the hands. So all in all, the articulation is really impressive on this. And like I said, it feels solid. He doesn't feel flimsy or like he's going to fall apart. Uh, aside from like these shoulder pauldrons popping off from time to time, everything else feels real sturdy on here. Like I don't have any real issues with anything popping off when I'm trying to pose him around and find like a really cool pose for the figure. So the posing works great. And this is where we start bringing in all of those different accessories. So you can really start um, mounting things onto him and seeing all the different things we can do. And I talk about mounting things on him. So let me show you, there's gonna be several places on here where you can see these little sockets. Like you got one on the back of a shell, you got them up here on his shoulder, you've got them on his hip, but there's a couple hidden ones as well. You can remove the little gold panel on his forearms and you've got a little socket there. You can remove these little panels on the sides of his legs, revealing other sockets there. And then there's one more that you can remove uh, underneath his shell back here. This one is specifically designed for the figure stand. So hold that thought, we'll come back to that because I wanna talk about some of these other ports here and the different things you can do with them. So I already showed you all of those handheld weapons, but what I haven't showed you yet is the shield. So he does have this large shield here. And this is where some of those clips come into place because you can find all these different size clips. And like, for example, this one here would work good with the shield. You can plug this little clip onto the back of the shield. And then if we remove that little covering on his forearm there, revealing that port, this allows you to be able to plug the shield onto his arm like so, and you can face it either direction that you want. This one is kind of backwards. We probably want to spin it around here. There we go. And now we've got the shield on his arm. It's perfectly attached. So you can use that, mount it. You can use it with the guns, the blasters, the swords, whatever you want. But there's some more fun stuff we can do with the shield here that I want to show you guys. So you can actually take the shield apart. Check this out. It comes into three parts here. And then we can actually remove this piece in the center here and we can do some other fun things with this. So let's bring in those short swords that I showed you guys earlier. You can actually clip the short swords right here on the inside of that shield. We can take that middle piece, put it back on here to kind of clip it into place. And then you can still use the same attachment that I showed you guys earlier for attaching it to his forearm. And we've got cool little pegs on here so we can also bring in our shurikens, which I love this because shurikens, you know, they come with every Ninja Turtles figure, but it's always not always the easiest to find a way for them to hold it. I love the idea of using it like this to create this crazy little like wrist weapon where you got the shurikens, you've got these blades attached to it. And again, now we can reattach this to the figure's forearm and you've sort of created this like spinning blade type weapon attached to his wrist, which is a really, really cool idea. Those other two pieces that we pulled off, well, they've got these little pegs that you can fold forwards like so. And now you can attach these to like the figure's thighs and the uh, the areas that I showed you that we uh, revealed earlier. You can put it up here on his shoulders if you want to. Uh, and this just kind of adds to like the overall look of the figure bulking him out a little bit, uh, you know, adding some extra shielding to him. So some really fun things that you can do with, uh, with the shield, breaking it into three parts so it's not just a standard shield. 
Now, each of the weapons has this nice little peg on the handles, which allows the figure to hold on to them very nicely. You can see the inside of his hands, the palms of his hands, uh, has these little pegs here that will go right into the slot onto the handle of the blasters, the, the swords, whatever you want to use. And that way he gets a perfect grip on the weapon. And then you can just fold his fingers right around it and it works beautifully. And these little handheld blasters are really nice too because um, the same kind of thing. You can have him holding onto both of them in his hands if you want to, or you could do something like you can take these clips here and you can actually find a way to clip them around the uh, blasters like so. And now we can use these as sort of like holsters. So if you want to holster the weapon at his side, uh, you know, at the pegs on his knees, the pegs on his hips, wherever you want to do it, this allows you to holster the blasters anywhere on the figure. You can also uh, use those exact same uh, ones there if you want to do something like plug the gun up on his shoulders and kind of create shoulder cannons. Um, with all of the different included clips here, there's a lot of fun things that you can do and lots of mixing and matching of the parts. Uh, like this particular clip here has got a handle on it. Again, something you could use on the back of the shield uh, for holding on to it if you want to. You've even uh, got these ones to hang off of his hips. That would be good for the sword blades. You actually work kind of like sheaths to hang the sword blades off of the figure's hips. So the little clips really help with the interchangeability of this, the mixing and matching of the parts, just to find the desired way of displaying the figure. For his uh, katanas, because it's Leonardo, you gotta have his katana blades. So we can attach these uh, little pegs right here, and these will actually clip right into the sockets on the sides of the shell there. That way you now have the katana sheaths hanging off of the figure's back. Uh, again, they hold nice and firm. They look really good. Let's go ahead and remove the blaster from his hand here because now we're gonna put those awesome metal katana blades in his hands. Again, same thing. You've got the nice little peg there that grips really nicely onto the handle of the katanas. You can actually see they clip into the sheaths really nicely as well. Uh, but man, these things feel so cool because because they're made out of metal so they got some really good weight to them uh, just like the figure uh, himself and so now we've got this giant ninja turtle mech this big old leo mech uh, holding on to his signature weapons it's such a cool look for the figure but like i said mixing and matching all of that with the blaster the rifle the shield you could get some very very cool looks for this figure with all of those different included weapons one more really fun feature with this thing is that it does feature a light up eyes technology. Uh, so this does not come with a battery, but let me show you how this works. You can remove the top of the head just like that and the battery will fit right there in the top of his head. Uh, the batteries that you're gonna wanna find are the LR621 batteries. These are tiny little button cells. Uh, I was able to find these on Amazon for only a couple dollars. You only need one of them to fit in top of the head there. Once you've got that attached, there's this really cool slice of pizza. Uh, and it's neat because it looks like circuitry and everything. And I also love how the manual here says that you use the pizza to power up your Leonardo. And what they mean by that is by taking the pizza, it's got a little magnet inside, and just touching it on top of his head, it activates the light up eyes. Now under my studio lights, it's hard to tell, so I had to do some dim lighting for you. But yeah, touching the pizza on top of his head gives you some nice bright LED light up eyes. Touching it a second time changes it to a pulsating view where the lights pulsate and then tapping it on his head a third time will shut them back off. It's a really, really fun added bonus feature. And hey, talking about bonus features, you remember those little plastic uh, sprues I showed you earlier? On the black one, there are these little discs here. Well, it turns out that those are actually wheels. If you look inside of the manual, uh, if you end up collecting all four of these when they come out, because uh, obviously they're going to do one for every turtle, uh, you're going to be able to build a tiny little turtle van that's sized appropriately for these, like a little one. So that way you'll be able to use all of your little sitting turtles when they're not sitting inside their mechs. They'll be able to sit inside that little turtle van. I think that is such a cool little added bonus. Just like a, like a tiny little build-a-vehicle. Really cool stuff. 
So the last thing I need to bring in and show you is the figure stand. It's a really nice plastic base. It's got a sewer lid cover with the classic logo. It stands flat. And the figure, like I said, he's such a great balanced figure. You can just stand him on top of the stand and it works fine. But it also comes with these two different sizes of stands. Now these are metal, except for the top part, it's plastic. But the poles themselves are metal and they actually screw into the stand. And like I showed you earlier, you can undo this little cover on the back underneath the shell and then you can attach these they fit real firm into the socket and then you screw them onto the base both of these are elevated so they don't they aren't used for standing him up on the base but what they are more used for is if you want to pose him in a jumping pose an action pose a flight pose these will work for that and they hold really really well i'm very impressed with them so uh, just another added level of display with this and one of the things i absolutely love about the stand check this out that sewer lid cover here it is removable and now we have a place that we can store all of these tiny little clips, anything that we're not using when we put this guy on the shelf. That way we don't have to worry about losing parts. I love that. I think that is brilliant. Very, very cool stuff. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles TMNT-01 Leonardo mech figure from Heat Boys. Uh, I really like this thing. I am so impressed by it. It's a really fun design, but it's also such a well-engineered, really well-done toy. Now, that being said, it is certainly not going to be a cheaper one. This is a high-end toy, and the cost on this is $169.99. It's currently available for pre-order over at BigBadToyStore.com. I'm going to link that in the video description so you can check it out for yourself. It's actually scheduled to ship very soon now. It was scheduled for first quarter 2023 so that should be happening any moment now these should be shipping out i also want to give a very special thanks to the folks over at heat boys for sending this along so we can get a good look at it early and outside of the box uh really guys i love this i think it's so much fun it's really well designed i love just all the different things you can do with it all the different weapons and accessories um if uh, there's so many turtles toys out there on the market today but if you're looking for something a little different and a little unique maybe this right here is exactly what you're looking for Thank you guys so very much for watching this video and until next time.